Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about performance management. Performance management is the term used to refer to activities, tools, processes, and programs that companies create or apply to manage the performance of individual employees, teams, departments, and other organizational units within their organizational influence in order to understand if they are working toward organizational objectives. What do we mean by SMART objectives? Firstly, it should be specific. You cannot simply say, I want to be successful. Okay, but you want to be successful specifically on what? It should also be measurable. You cannot simply say, I want to be successful from this course, the HRM course. It is specific, but your success should also be measurable. Your grade, for example, should it be greater than 90? Should it be AA? What do we mean by success? What do we mean by being successful? Or is it enough for you to get CC from this course? It should also be attainable. Hopefully, it is attainable for you to be successful from this course. It should also be relevant. For example, performance criteria should be relevant to the objectives of the organization. Otherwise, it's not important for us to measure your performance if it's not related to the organizational performance, for example. Finally, it should be timely. There should be a time bound. Suppose that you would like to graduate from this faculty, but when? If you can graduate from this school in four years, yes, you're successful. But if you say that, oh, after 10 years, I would like to be successful and I would like to be graduated from this faculty, no, that is not really a success for you. In order to understand our performance, we should refer to measures, performance measures. It can be, firstly, an output. Output is the quantity, is the number of units produced. For example, the number of books that you have read, children immunized, patients transported. These criteria are related to the numbers of jobs that you have done. It does not tell us anything about the quality of the work you have done. For example, for university, the main production, actually we are providing a service, but if we would like to use the terminology in production, what we produce? We produce graduates. Then our outputs will be the number of graduate students. Second measure is efficiency. It is the inputs used per unit of output or output per input. Both can be used. For example, cost per kilometer, cost per appraisal, plans reviewed per reviewer. For a university, for example, cost per student or the number of articles per faculty members. Those are related to the measures of efficiency. Finally, we will talk about quality. So far we have talked about the quantity, but we need to measure the quality of service. For example, quality of those videos. In order to understand the quality of those videos, we need to refer to the satisfaction level of the audience of the students who listen to my videos, for example. As you can easily realize that it is not objective. It is subjective opinions of the audience. 
For example, percent of the respondents satisfied with the service. As you can see, the quality measurement here is very subjective. But when it comes to errors, it's not subjective but objective. Error rate per data entry operator. Low frequency of repeat repairs. You can objectively measure those quality measures. So we should divide quality into two. The first part is related to the subjective opinions of the respondents. The second part is related to the objective measurement of the mistakes made. For a university, for example, satisfaction level of students. For example, satisfaction level of my students related to my course. Fourth point is also related to quality. It is outcome. It shows if you are effective or not. It shows if you have achieved your objectives or not. For example, you would like to prepare roads. For what purpose? To reduce the death and injuries during a car trip. So that's why reduction in death and injuries during the car trip, for example, can be an outcome measure for you or reduction in fire injuries or percent of job trainees who hold a job for more than six months so as you can see this is qualitative not quantitative so it shows the qualitative consequences associated with a program or service that's it for now thank you for listening see you later